Every business person in the history of the world, including you, including me, tells themselves the exact same lie. And the lie we say is that our customers are just too busy. They're too busy to go to the website. They're too busy to open the email. They're too busy to watch the video. And it is absolutely not true. My friends, there's only two ways to succeed in marketing and communications today. You can either be disproportionately emotional or you can be massively relevant. Relevancy is the killer app. Every business is in a fight for attention. You're not just competing against whoever sells what you sell, you're competing against everything, against news, against weather, against football, against my mom, against each and every Kardashian. <laughs> Everybody has their favorites, I know, you can't hide from me. From the time of Pompeii until about three years ago, the rules of business were always the same. Companies were in charge. Now the landscape has decisively shifted. For the first time in history, customers are in charge. This is the new normal. This is the situation that we find ourselves in. And no matter how hard you push, that genie is not going back in the bottle. And that's scary, yeah. But it's also the single greatest opportunity since the invention of electricity. What we have to do is look past the old ways of marketing, the old ways of customer service, and what we'll find is a once in a lifetime opportunity to propel your business forward in ways that would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. When your customers tell their friends about you, guess what happens? You get new customers for free. By 2020, a majority of customer decisions will be based not on price, not on availability, but on customer experience. Customer experience is how we make our customers feel. And when you exceed customer expectations in one or more powerful ways, it makes word of mouth involuntary. It compels word of mouth. They cannot help themselves. And how do you do that? How do you make word of mouth involuntary? With talk triggers, strategic operational differences that clone your customers. Word of mouth is the single most effective form of marketing and the very best way to create revenue. People are the power. I have two kids. They are 19 and 16 years old. They have, as you might suspect, uh, smartphones. But there is no device in the history of devices that is more inappropriately named than smartphone for them. Because of all the functions of that device, the one function that they have no interest in is the telephone function. <laughs> My son will not talk on the phone at bayonet point. He wants nothing to do with it. My father was an entrepreneur. My mother was an educator. And I actually do both. I teach business. What do I do for a living? I document the marketing, customer service, and customer experience shifts that create business winners and losers. And then I give away that recipe one group at a time. A big mistake a lot of businesses make is thinking that technology will save them. Technology is not going to save you. The more technology advances, the more important people become. Success in business is about the wizard, not the wand. 80% of companies say that they deliver superior customer service. But only 8% of their customers agree. Now, more than ever before in the history of the world, customer service is the new marketing. And the fight for attention is the single greatest battle that every marketer will face now and in the future. I actually do everything that I talk about on stage. I'm a seventh generation entrepreneur and I've started five companies of my own. I keep my grandfather's license plate. It says, it's Oak. Because since 1869, the motto of my family's furniture store was if Bear says it's Oak, it's Oak. I've been a consultant for 25 years. I've worked with like 700 brands. I customize my programs for every audience. I try to make it as specific as possible for the people in that room. I owe it to them to help them get better. So what do I really do? Real-time consulting, but with a microphone.
I love speaking. It's my favorite thing. I like it better than consulting. I like it better than podcasting. I like it better than writing. I like it better than just about anything. But standing ovations don't matter to me or booking more events. All I care about is the six months test. 180 days after I walk off that stage, has every audience member improved their business? Have they made money, saved money, or both? Are they better? That's the only measure that matters. And the day I can't make people better is the day I'll have given my last presentation.